Meteor showers are one of the best astronomical events that occur in the night sky. And the interesting part is that we don't need to use any special equipment to see this meteor shower. Near about 30 meteor showers are occurring every year and one such meteor shower is going to peak during this weekend that is from October 20 up to October 22. Yes, I am talking about the Orionis meteor shower that is going to peak in the next few days and in this video today I am going to discuss about how, when and where we can see this Orionis meteor shower. So please watch the whole video and don't skip any point so that you will get complete information about this Orionis meteor shower. So without wasting much time, let's begin our today's video. So first let's see the date and time during which we have to see this Orionis meteor shower. So every meteor shower remains active for a certain duration and in that active duration there is a peak time when we can see maximum number of meteors. So this Orionis meteor shower remains active from last week of September up to first week of November month. And in that active duration, this Orionis meteor shower will reach its peak on October 21 and October 22. So the best date to see this Orionis meteor shower is on October 21 and October 22. Now let's see the timing. So for timing, we have to first understand the term called radiant. Every meteor shower has a dedicated point in the night sky from where all the meteors will originate. And this point is lying in a particular constellation. We can see the meteors anywhere in the night sky, but those meteors will originate from a particular point that lies in a particular constellation. And this point is called radiant in astronomy. So we have to wait until the radiant has risen at a good height in the night sky. And after that, we can start our observation to see the meteor shower. And hence, we can see the maximum number of meteors when the radiant is at a good height. We can still see the meteors until the radiant has not risen, but the number of meteors that can be seen will be decreased. Okay, so the radiant of this Orionis meteor shower is lying in the Orion constellation. So we have to wait until the Orion constellation rises. So the Orion constellation rises at a good height after midnight. So the time to see this Orionis meteor shower is from midnight up to the early morning sky. Okay, so this was the date and time. Once again, I'm repeating. The best date is from October 21 and October 22 and the timing is after midnight up to the early morning in the night sky. So let's see in which direction we have to see this Orionis meteor shower. How many meteors can be seen of this meteor shower and now we can find out the dark skies for this Orionis meteor shower. So as I said earlier that the radiant of this Orionis meteor shower is in the Orion constellation and this Orion constellation will rise in the east direction then it will move in the southeast then south and finally it will remain in, in between south and southwest skies up to the early morning. So the direction in which we have to see this Orionis meteor shower is from east up to southwest. Okay. So now let's see how many meteors can be seen. So for that there is a term called zenithar hourly rate that is called ZHR. The ZHR of this Orionis meteor shower is near about 20 meteors per hour. So if we are under a perfectly dark sky then we can see near about 20 meteors per hour of this Orionis meteor shower. Now let's see how to find out the dark skies to observe this Orionis meteor shower. So for that we need to know what is bottle scale, how to find out the bottle scale by using the light pollution map. You might be knowing that light pollution is the biggest problem for amateur astronomers, stargazing activities as well as astrophotography activities. And this light pollution is measured in terms of bottle scale. This bottle scale is a 9 level scale as you can see in this image and this bottle scale is having, I mean it runs from bottle 1 to bottle 9. Bottle 1 denotes perfect dark sky while bottle 9 denotes heavily light polluted skies. To see this Orionis meteor shower, we need to remain under bottle 1 to up to bottle 5 skies. Okay, I have already seen this Orionis meteor shower in last year and previous to the last year from bottle 5 as well as bottle 4 skies. Okay, so you have to remain from bottle 1 up to bottle 5 skies. Now, how to find out the bottle scale of our location? So for that, we need to take help of the light pollution map. You can watch this video. In this video, I have explained in detail that how to find out the exact bottle scale of a location and how we can know that if there is a dark size near our surrounding or not. And if it is, then how to find out the dark size near our location. The link to this video is given in the description as well as in the i button over here from where you can watch it. So this was about how, when and where we can see this Orionis meteor shower. 